Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at Frankfurt, Germany at ISC 2018, and today we're at the Altair booth with Sam. Sam, thanks for having me back. I think maybe we should start at the beginning, though. Who is Altair, and who do you help in the supercomputing space? Hi, Rich. Uh, so, uh, Altair Engineering has been involved in the high-performance computing space for many years. And with our PBS Work suite of products, uh, we have been helping uh, all the various participants in the HPC space, right from the very large supercomputers to uh, the commercial companies who have been using the high-performance computing uh, for their in-house innovations. And uh, primarily, we take care of the entire life cycle, uh, right from uh, the middleware in terms of managing the workload and the scheduling. Uh, to the end users who can easily access the HPC resources in order to get their innovations done, as well as to the HPC admins who can uh, configure, manage, and uh, and analyze uh, the clusters. So, 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 so we've been we've been helping all different personas in the HPC world. Okay, and what are you showcasing this week at ISC 2018? So, ISC 2018, uh, I think the biggest uh, thing that we are showcasing is the PBS Works 18. With the PBS Works 18, a uh, couple of things uh, that we have done. Uh, firstly, on the portal products, the PBS Access, uh, we have uh, a new age uh, user experience. So we have refreshed the user experience, a lot more fluid experience, non-disruptive workflow. And uh, we provide uh, the same kind of access to the HPC cluster, whether it's a web-based product, or it's a mobile product, or it's a desktop product that is seamlessly integrated into your operating system itself so that from the engineer's desktop you can access the HPC. We have also introduced PBS Control, which is more for the HPC admins, so that you are able to uh, deploy a cluster, manage the cluster, configure the policies, as well as simulate in terms of what uh, future needs are going to be in terms of hardware that you need, as well as uh, analyze the workload uh, for the HPC admins in order to make sure that the resources are getting optimally used. And uh, the most important release is with PBS Professional 18.2. A uh, lot of great, exciting, a lot of, lot of new features in the 18.2. Some to cite are uh, one being uh, the container integration. So now we can, we can have a Docker container per job. Uh, the other important thing is uh, more uh, towards the exascale and horizontal scaling. So we now have multi-scale, which is, which is scheduling per partition so that we can scale horizontally uh, a lot and still have a global view of the cluster itself. And of course, uh, we have integrated a lot of the Cray XC features as part of this release and also a lot of the power management features in terms of supporting the power profiles, the power capping, and the power accounting as well. This is just to name a few, but I think this is, the, this is, this is a very robust release as always. And uh, we are excited about uh, the PBS Works 18. Yeah, yeah no, and that's open source too, isn't it now? Absolutely, yeah. we, have, we, have, we, have, we have had the dual license for many years now, two years now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it is the same product, uh, whether it's commercial or it is uh, the open source version. And we have seen a good community adoption of our open source and we are excited about that as well. Okay, okay, well, hey, I wanted to ask you about, Altair has done some interesting acquisitions lately. Can you tell me about those? Yes, so uh, the end of last year, we acquired a company out of uh, the Valley called the Runtime Design Automation. And Runtime Design Automation was providing the middleware technologies for the electronic design automation space. And this is primarily to cater to the EDA workloads, which are high throughput, which is high throughput scheduling, many small jobs, and many jobs running. And so this has been a very good acquisition for us, and now we have gotten into the EDA vertical with this, uh, with this acquisition. 